Hi, I'm B-Rad and welcome to the B-Rad Video Show. Well, it's finally time. Finally time to reveal the game room. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's really awesome. Um, I've been spending a bit of time so far uh, playing some games and stuff down here. I haven't had a lot of time, but uh, it's just been great and I'm looking forward to using it a lot more in the future. And uh, I'm just so excited to finally show it to you guys. So um, here we go. All right, so we'll start here. Um, this is uh, where I used to sit before. I'm still going to sit here. Um, I'm going to maybe take some videos from other parts of the room, but now this is pretty much dedicated to Nintendo, other than that one 3DO box on the left. It wouldn't fit to, uh, where I originally wanted it. But, uh, yeah, I have all Nintendo. I have a shelf with, uh, like, uh, NES stuff up there. NES carts. Then Super Nintendo. And then a, a lot of my other Nintendo stuff. Game Boy, Game Boys and stuff. This is kind of a storage area. In those bins, I have uh, controllers and just uh, I have like a couple of extra consoles or something like that down there. Just extra game stuff in those bags. If we move over to the left here. Uh, you can see I got a, on, a Virtual Boy on the stand here. And I also got some uh, PSPs and a PS Vita there. And that drawer I just used to put in uh, like uh, cables and stuff for now. Just... Uh, adapters nothing major at the moment all right and then to the left of that i got uh, this shelf which i have uh, all my playstation stuff on so there's a uh, ps4 ps3 stuff ps3 ps2 it's quite a bit of stuff playstation stuff playstation is my main console there's ps1 even down there at the bottom now, i'm not gonna go through all the games i have right now maybe we'll save that for another video but uh that's uh the playstation shelf right next to the Nintendo corner. All right, to the left of all this stuff, got um, where I have my guitar stuff. Got uh, some amps and pedals and stuff. Uh, my guitar is up here on the wall. Just a bunch of music stuff. Right here's a, a, f a fridge and uh, it's a TV. It's hard to see what's on the TV just because it's hard to record I tell old tube TVs. But, um, it's just where I just play YouTube videos and stuff. I play my guitars to them and stuff. Uh, some small guitars, little miniature guitars I have. Just some uh, my rock and roll action figures. Just more music stuff down here. All right, over to the left. That's where I have my uh, uh, my arcade machine with a retro pie in it. I have a whole bunch of consoles on that uh, unit to the left of it. And my TV. I'll get a better look at all that stuff in just a moment. Just thought I'd show you what the room looks like so far. There's my turtles cabinet. It's got a retro pie in it, which is really cool. I'm running Mortal Kombat 2 on it right now. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, to the left of it, I have this uh, stand with a bunch of consoles on it. Uh, at the bottom, I have uh, Intellivision, and then uh, to the right of it, 3DO. And then I have a Sega Master System, a GameCube with a Game Boy Player on it, uh, N64, a Dreamcast, a Super Nintendo, a regular NES, and then Atari 2600 and a PS2. I actually have a PS3 kind of tucked away over here, too. That's what's running the YouTube that I play uh, my guitars to all the time. And I just have some other consoles up here as well. Just some of the ones I have. I have an original uh, um, Genesis and a PS1 Mini and then a regular PS1. And this is um, a Gemini. It plays Atari 2600 games. These uh, four up here are not hooked up because uh, all the consoles down below will play whatever I have up there. But yeah, these, these ones are all hooked up. Uh, there's a lot of consoles there. I also uh, have some stuff to the left here. Up above my television... I have uh, these uh, Sonic and Mario light-up um, pixel guys that I got. They're pretty cool. And there's a Atari 2600 Junior. Uh, like I said, I got the 6 switch hooked up, so I don't really need it. It's just kind of there for display. Uh, running Mario 64 just for fun, just to show it off. Uh, there's my receiver and a switcher box. I can switch to a whole bunch of different consoles. And uh, down below, I have my uh, Genesis Sega CD and 32X. And uh, that's pretty cool, too. And that's all hooked up. Everything. 
Yeah, so here's this wall. I pretty much uh, I got some artwork on the walls. I'll show you guys that stuff when I a little up closer in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this uh, shelf quickly too. There's Donkey Kong sitting on the couch there. Yeah, so it's all my Sega stuff. There's a lot of uh, Game Gear stuff up there. My Lethal Enforcers for Sega CD. I got a couple of Game Genies for Genesis and uh, Game Gear. Anyway, I'm not going to go through everything. But there's my Master System games and my Genesis stuff. And then uh, get down to Sega CD and 32X and some more Genesis. That's where I sit down. I play my games right across in there. Right next to Donkey Kong. Got some artwork up there. Some Mortal Kombat stuff on the left wall. Some really cool stuff. Goro, then a Mortal Kombat collage, then another Goro. Then I got uh, Mega Man and Sonic. Got a logo for B-Rad Video Show. Oh, you can't really see that one because of the light. Here's a drawing by my buddy Jay. It's really cool. It's uh, it's a uh, demon from hell getting blown away by the uh, Doom guy. Right, these two pictures are uh, done by my buddy Adonis. The one on the left is uh, me as the guy in Shinobi, and the right is uh, Rampage, and I'm destroying a building. If you come over to the left, I got this here. A little end piece of the wall, where you have a kind of a bit of shelving area. And this is where I have a lot of my Atari 2600 stuff. And, um... Got that cool Millennium Falcon uh, video game. It's a bunch of Star Wars mini games on the controller. Uh, so just some other like uh, old, really old kind of stuff. Well, the Intellivision mini isn't. I guess the Star Wars one isn't mini, but it kind of suits everything that's there. And Intellivision games. There's my 3DO games, just some books and stuff. All right, and I have this uh, Xbox uh, shelf around the corner. It's an Xbox. Uh, it used to be a store display. still lights up. I converted it into a shelving unit to store my Xbox stuff. I also got some PSP games down on uh, one of the bottom shelves there. Um, it's kind of a tight hallway, so it's hard to get a good angle, but uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty neat. It's really big, so that's why I have it around the corner here. My PSP stuff, and I had the silent scope uh, uh, sniper rifle set down there. It's my Resident Evil game. Oh, there's some PS Vita games down there, too. I don't have very money. All right, well, what do you guys think? I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. You know, um, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I'm glad I got it set up in a way that's. Uh, it's just really fun to be down here, and uh, everything is very much more accessible, and my consoles are hooked up now. I can play arcade machine, I can play my guitars. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool, and definitely going to be spending a lot of time down here. Anyway, uh, please tell me what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Do you have a setup uh, kind of like this of your own? Because if you do, I think that's really awesome, and uh, I'd like to know about it. Anyway, like, subscribe, tap that bell icon to get more updates of the B-Rad Video Show. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.